What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the O'Reilly Show. And on the O'Reilly Show, we're going to bring you content directly from us student athletes to you, the fans. You're going to be able to engage with us using the comment section below. And also, we've been going through the comments quite a lot. Yes. So we're reading them, seeing who you guys want to see on the show. So keep make coming. sure, yeah, keep, keep coming. coming. For sure. We have a very special guest today. Yes, indeed. And I'm just gonna say Will Brooks. Just, just say, just <laughs> the man, the legend. That's why. I call That's him. what Willie you guys B. say, Willie, Willie B. B. Yeah. You can call Do you like Willie, Willie B? B? Yeah, I like Willie B. Wow, Willie B, yeah. Willie B on the beat. That's what I'm. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys don't know who Will Brooks is, they obviously didn't watch Saturday's game, mm -hmm. and they obviously haven't watched this entire season. Indeed. Correct me if I'm wrong, redshirt senior. Yes. Birmingham, Alabama. Yes. Which first thing that comes to mind is why Tennessee, if yeah. you were an Alabama kid? Well, you know, I was actually an Alabama fan growing up. So you were. You know, I, was, I was an Auburn fan, oh. so I've always hated Alabama okay. my whole life. So there's that. Um, I wanted to get out of state and, you know, really just Tennessee provided me with the opportunity to play football at the next level. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I wanted to play big time SEC football. And I came on a visit up here to Tennessee and loved it. So. Uh, yeah, that's kind of why I made my decision to come here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I want to get into a lot of you. I probably can pick your brain for hours, but okay. let's just talk about <laughs> Saturday's game, third Saturday of October. Indeed. You guys yeah. played Alabama. I don't know if I really even need to explain <laughs> that rivalry to anyone. 24 to 17, two defensive players, DB, defensive linemen, and you guys, no offense to the offense, you guys won us the game. If you look at like the stat sheet, we had two interceptions, a fumble, and two missed field goals, and we still came out with the win. So you guys are absolutely just dominating. What did you feel from that game? Number one, the energy, the preparation, just run me through the game. Uh, really, a lot of, um, you know, just fun, excitement. You know, the crowd getting into it, especially on our side of the ball. Crowd gets into it. You know, you feed off that energy. Mm -hmm. So it's fun just to be playing in Elon, you know, you. Mm -hmm. Go through a game, you expect it to be a dog fight, and will it be finishing it off? I <laughs> oh mean. my God. Okay. <laughs> Let's, we're going to come back, but you had the game winning interception. Also, eight tackles in the game, a tackle for loss. You've been playing absolutely outstanding, but that last play, the crowd erupted. You could hear it on TV, you could hear it in all the videos I've seen on social media, and then obviously there it was crazy. Run us through that last play. Yeah, so we were in uh, quarters and you know, my, my two kind of eliminated, so I was freed up and just able to read the quarterback. And then I kind of felt, you know, the outside guy run an in-breaking route. And then kind of right when I broke, I looked, I turned, and I saw the ball coming, and, you know, I was just able to finish off the play. And, yeah, I mean, I mean, the crowd was, was just incredible. That was like, crazy. What was the feeling <laughs> like after you caught that ball? Like It was just, I mean, it was crazy. Like, it was, it's all kind of a blur now. Like, mm -hmm. You know, just I like got up with the ball and it was just like, <laughs> I didn't even know what to think. I, know, like, was crazy. I just started kind of running around and celebrating, but uh, it was it was a lot of fun. It was yeah. really fun. It was really fun to watch. Then the field got rushed once again. They were mm -hmm. ranked seven. We were ranked 11 going into that game. Now I believe you guys are ranked seventh. Mm -hmm. I know we don't talk about rankings, but crowd rushed once again. Two years ago, we did the same thing. Mm -hmm. Just where were you guys at during that? Like, how was that? How was that feeling once again? Yeah, it was crazy. This year, I ran like right after the game, cause my dad texted me before the game. He was like, "We smoking cigars after the game today." <laughs> yes. so, so after the game, I ran over to my dad. I didn't expect him to like have a cigar for me. Oh, I he already had it. He had one for me, so <laughs> <laughs> I just went over there. And then I was just after that, I ran on the field after that. I love yeah. all the social media of it. Like, yeah. I love that that's like the tradition between you guys in Alabama that you smoke cigars. Yeah. I wish we did that in softball. Like, I wish. I don't have no game where it's like. We, I mean, I guess we could do it against Alabama, but we would, we've never done it. You should. Yeah, start it. I know. I mean, I, I can't anymore, but. Mm. But the you can vibe. You give them the idea, though. Yeah. I know, they should. We'll make them this year. Yeah. The vibes were immaculate, though. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But. I feel like the game didn't start, like like I mentioned, all the turnovers and the missed field goals. Kind of what was the talk on the sidelines to get you guys going on the right track? Seemed like the defense was clicking from the beginning. The offense was a little shaky. Obviously, Nico's young, so you're going to see that. But what was kind of the talk and conversation on the sidelines to kind of keep the game in arm's reach? Yeah, I mean, defensively, we were just kind of just talking about, like, just keep going, like, you know, we trust our offense is going to get it going. Like, we know they're going to get it going mm -hmm. at some point. So we just, we knew we just had to keep holding them and, 
you know, I think we did a great job of that and then yeah. just continuing to play with a whole lot of energy and be aggressive and uh, go attack the ball. More than great job of doing it. I think you held them to 75 rushing yards. And like growing up, me being a football fan, I feel like Alabama is known for rushing the ball and to be able to hold them yeah. to 75 rushing yards. And then there was a crazy stat that was like in their last four drives of the game, they only got two yards. Mm -hmm. So how was it in the trenches, might I ask? <laughs> <laughs> On the line, in the trenches. It was, uh, you know, it was a fight down there. They got had a good offensive line, mm -hmm. big boys, strong. So, I mean, it was a fight. They exactly. won some reps, we won some reps, but we on top, baby. We on top. <laughs> how are you guys feeling? Like, how how is your bodies feeling after that game? Smooth. Smooth for the most yeah. part. Smooth. Nice. Yeah, I feel pretty good, too. To I honest. mean, I would feel pretty good if I had the game with <laughs> no reception. Really. <laughs> In your career at Tennessee, you haven't always been the starter. Mm. You were a walk-on. And I want to say the NC State game, you had a really amazing interception as well. Kind of you started your season off with an interception, right. keep it going. But kind of how has your career been from that walk-on position until now you're, you've started every game this season? Yeah, I mean, coming in as a walk-on, you know, it's not like guaranteed. Obviously, it's not guaranteed that you're going to play coming mm -hmm. in as a scholarship, but especially as a walk-on. So, you know, just knowing like you're going to have to work super, super hard just to even get on the field and you know, just try to attack every opportunity that you're given and, you know, just build build off of each opportunity and rep that you're given and, you know, just continuing to to push and learn and get better every single day mm -hmm. and then eventually just make the most of, like, every every single opportunity and rep that you're given. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I'm thankful my, co my coaches have trusted me enough to put me in the positions they have and, mm -hmm. you know, now to be starting, it's just, uh, it's a great feeling to you know, kind of see some of the hard work paying off. Oh, for sure. I think a lot of people, when they watch and they see a player having a breakout season, they probably think of, what did they do in this off season or what did they do in camp? But you kind of just said it. It's every single rep from mm. your freshman year until now. You've put in all the work, and now you're just being able to let it shine. Right. So I'm, yeah. I'm so happy for Thank you. Thank you, yeah. So I'm obviously super proud of you. That's an inspiration to a lot of people. I want to give you the chance to, like, talk to the little kids behind the screen that might be in the position that you were in but before we get to that did you ever think about leaving like did you ever sit or not play as much not start all these games and like I don't know if I want to go somewhere and play more like what made you stick it out for this long yeah I mean I never really had a thought of leaving to be honest like you know just I loved you know my teammates here and the coaches and mm -hmm. I don't know I just love being around the team and, and also just you know I wanted to get my degree here mm -hmm. and uh you know do that so I was able to finish that and you know, it's it's obviously paid off. What did you get your degree in? Uh, finance. Oh. Yeah. Finance, bro. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so if there's a little kid out there that might be going into the position that you are mm. um, a walk-on, what would you say to them and, like, what advice would you give them if you were in their position again? Yeah, I would just tell them to, you know, never give up and just keep working because, you know, you, you earn basically what you – or you work for what you earn, essentially. So uh, I tell them, like, even if – you know, they're not in the position they want to be or getting as many reps or, you know, not on the depth chart where they want to be. You know, you can always improve yourself um, just by showing the coaches they can trust you and just doing all the little things right. Mm -hmm. So uh, that would be my advice for them. You mentioned trust, and I want to say in the press conference, Aaron Carter, he said, so, he said a lot of things. I wrote a couple of them down. Specifically, he said, you do your job at a high level every single time, and he wouldn't want to be behind anyone else. So that just speaks to the trust that your teammates have in you. What did that mean to you to hear that? You were sitting next to him in yeah. the press conference, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, what did that mean to you? Yeah, I mean, that meant a ton, a ton to me, especially coming from AC, because that's, I mean, that's another guy who, you know, works his butt off every day. And, mm -hmm. you know, I trust him too. And, you know, I think that's another reason why our defense has been so great is just, you know, we've been able to trust each other and trust that, you know, everyone's going to be in the right position. Um, and we're able to lean on each other that way. So mm -hmm. it really does mean a lot. Yeah. You mentioned earlier the noise and the atmosphere. Mm -hmm. I saw so many times people saying it was the loudest Neyland has ever been. But then I got to wondering if the, you guys are, or if Neyland is that loud mm -hmm. and you guys are on defense, obviously we get the most loud when it's offense. How are you guys able to communicate in those moments? Because you Signals. could see, yeah. okay. And does it ever get tough for you guys or you kind of are used to it? I mean, you kind of train it, but like okay. it really don't get tough unless like, I know it don't really get tough for us because, like, I could easily just walk over to a D lineman and talk to and him talk. in his ear. Yeah. But I don't know. For the back end, I, I don't know. 
because they're more yeah. spread yeah. out. Yeah, how is it for you guys? Like it can be tough, but I mean, as long as we like are looking at each other and you know, like giving their signal and receiving it, like I know, like we're on the same page. So it's it's kind of like it's just kind of like if you look at each other and you can kind of confirm it, then it's okay. it's fine. But I mean, it definitely is tough for sure. Yeah. Yeah. With the noise, not is, being able to hear anything. Is there ever a point where you're not on the same page and the ball is snapped and you're like, oh crap, <laughs> like we got to go. Like, does that ever yeah. happen? It happens, yeah. yeah. And oh, wait, did it happen in Alabama by chance? I just, um, I've always wondered that. Like, I don't know if it happened. I, 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 I don't know. know either. Yeah, I don't know. I'm sure it, I don't yeah. know, maybe. But it, it, it it's does. happened before, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm just really, like I said earlier, but proud of you guys because you've been able to beat Alabama twice in your four years, mm -hmm. which I don't think has happened in decades. But also, I'm just proud of how you guys have transitioned Tennessee from being more of an offense-dominant team to defense-dominant. So I know you talk about it a lot of just the defense is having fun, mm -hmm. but why do you think you're continuing to grow? Like. It's having fun and it's putting in work, but what are kind of some of the specific things that you guys are really been prioritizing this year? Really just doing your job. Like we focus, been putting a lot of focus on doing our job, like knowing, like building trust, mm -hmm. knowing yeah. that the person that in front of me, beside me, like is gonna do what they supposed to do. And when you do that, you're able to play fast, you mm -hmm. play way smoother. Mm -hmm. And it's just, that brings out the fun. Like those mm -hmm. are the things that go into it where you make the play and now it's fun, you know what I mean? So it's good just to be able to play with guys who actually love the game, love to, to learn the knowledge of the game because all that goes into being able to be a good defense as well. Mm -hmm. We haven't been able to sit down and talk for a while. Mm -hmm. So I do want to go backwards a couple steps and talk about Arkansas a couple weeks ago. Mm -hmm. A road loss to an unranked opponent. How did you guys bounce back from that to be able to beat Florida at home, tough game, and then beat an opponent ranked higher than you? Like, what were the conversations after that game? Because obviously, no one played great in that game. Uh, I know just being able to, when things not going your way, like being able to play four quarters, like mm -hmm. continuing to play four quarters when things aren't going your way. One side of the ball, defense might be playing good, but offense might not be. We have mm -hmm. to keep pushing, or you know, vice versa. So. You just have to continue to play four quarters. And I think we learned that in Arkansas where you play four quarters, you have a chance to be able to win a ball game. Oh, so. yeah. And you guys, that's what you guys did this week. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like, it's cool to see the growth that you guys had. Mm -hmm. If you've been paying attention to social media, this week you won the Bulls Worth, I hope I'm saying that right, Player of the Week. And the award at the end of the year recognizes the most outstanding player that has been a walk-on during their career. So what does that mean to you? And kind of just to wrap up the Alabama talk, like, did you ever picture yourself starting as a walk-on, not getting to play that much, and then having a game-winning interception? Like, have you ever pictured yourself like that? And then also, what does that award mean to you? Yeah, I mean, I guess, like, I like, dreamt about moments like that. I don't know if I necessarily pictured it yeah. actually coming true. But, I mean, it was just amazing. Um, and then, yeah, the Bur Burlesworth, uh, I mean, that would mean a ton to me. Like, mm -hmm. and to win that award this week is, it means a lot to me. And, yeah. you know, the award at the end of the season also would mean a ton if I was able to win that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we'll be pushing for you. Just keep, yeah. keep Indeed. having fun mm -hmm. yeah. with the defense and mm -hmm. you guys will be fine. Yeah. So let's move into a little bit of a preview. I know Alabama was such a great win, but we always have to flip the page. Indeed. Right. Kind of have a tough kind of SEC series or series multiple coming up. You guys have a bye week this week, mm -hmm. which is nice. The first time you've ever had two bye weeks in a season, True. right? Yeah. Does it feel different already, or is it kind of just... Yeah, it definitely feels different, cause just being two in general. Because, mm -hmm. you know, usually you have your one, and, you know, you, you gotta... the rest game. So <laughs> to know that we had an extra bye week, it, it's smooth. I, I think it's definitely going to pay off for the body. Oh, for sure. Mm -hmm. Especially with the potential longer season. Mm -hmm. or not. I won't even say potential. With the longer season because I know <laughs> what sure. is in store for, sure. for you guys. After this bye week, we go right into more SEC play, obviously. You have Kentucky at home, which is always a rivalry. I heard that it's a 7 p.m. game, which last time it was a night game against Kentucky. You guys were all black. Indeed. And then you guys dominated. But although they're unranked, it's still like that rivalry, like that you've had for four years. So it's not like it's an unranked opponent. It's going to be easy. Mm -hmm. So you have Kentucky. 
when will you start preparing for them? Will you start? Today. Today? <laughs> yeah. You already looked at them? <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah, what are some of the things that you've noticed as a defense about them? Just, um, you know, run heavy team, good offensive line, just me focusing on the offensive line. Big guys, strong guys, you know, SEC offensive line. They want to move you off the ball, so it'll be a good matchup for us. And what did you see from the secondary? Yeah, I mean, they got they got some good receivers. Uh, you know, they, their quarterback play is pretty good. Mm -hmm. um, so it's going to be a tough game. I mean, every SEC game will be a tough game, yeah. so we got to be on our A game for it. Yeah, Indeed. That's mm -hmm. one thing that I noticed this year in the SEC, at least everyone now with Texas having lost to Georgia, is mm -hmm. it's all up in the air. All right. Right. And for one of the first times you guys are – have a high percentage of getting to the SEC championship, which mm. I think your SEC network and ESPN said as of now, 35% chance with Texas being just ahead with like 40% chance. So you guys are right up in there. Then you guys have Mississippi State at home, which have you ever played Mississippi State in your career? I have not. And then yeah, that means yeah. you haven't either. Yeah. So that'd be interesting. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then you guys have an away Georgia, which I don't want to look too far ahead, but obviously Georgia is playing well, they're always going to be good. Mm -hmm. How hard is it to play in Athens? Does it get mm -hmm. kneeling loud? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> nah. It get loud, though, but yeah. not like kneeling. Not like kneeling. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure Georgia... Nah, never mind. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> we'll save it. We'll save it. Kneeling was so loud, I think there was... I know they had 15 penalties, but I can't even think about how many false starts they had because yeah, it, was, it was, yeah. was so loud. Yeah, they had a lot of false starts, for sure. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you guys are ranked seventh now, going into this bye week. Kind of what is the message going into another unranked opponent? Obviously, we already know what can happen when you don't play well against unranked opponent. Right. Everything is there. What is kind of the message that Coach Hypo and obviously defensive coaches have been talking about going into this next week? Yeah, just prepare the, prepare the right way, you mm -hmm. know, just – you know, don't take don't take the bye week for granted. Like, mm -hmm. don't just waste reps or anything, and you know, get our bodies right, get healthy. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and just basically to treat it as a game week, like we're playing on Saturday, mm -hmm. so that way we're ready to go next week when we do play. Exactly. Well, you are one of the people that doesn't take a rep off, as we had see with your performance. Mm -hmm. I have a special game. We used to play this game. Okay. Then. But it was the caption game. So I have mm -hmm. six players. And I'm going to read their caption and give a little description. And you guys are going to be able to guess who okay. said what. Actually, I'm going to say their caption. If you need help with the picture description, we'll get there. Okay. But I tried to do defensive players that you guys might be closer to. Okay. With I'll sprinkle an offense if I can. <laughs> this person said, oh, so this what it's like? Question mark With the glasses that are like. Jackson Moy. Yes. Oh, yeah, that was yeah. awesome. But I liked <laughs> I it because one. so this. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say this instead of this, but this is what it's like because he just came to the yeah, SEC this year. Like, it. it was perfect, and he has a it, yeah. cigar in his mouth, just mm -hmm. vibing. Okay. Indeed. Next one, man in the arena, period. Ooh. I know this one, too. Man. You know this? Coop. <laughs> He's destroying uh, you. You yeah, must not go on social media. Too. Yeah. Coop. I don't know. It was Cooper. And I know because everyone, like, just posted some pictures, too. Everyone, that's, I can almost tell <laughs> yeah. when you guys get your photos back because mm -hmm. it's like, bam, bam, yeah. bam, everyone, everyone posts. Everyone posts the same day. Okay, this next person person just said tough with three Fs. I have no idea. Cigar in the mouth, just chilling. Yeah, I have no clue. I have clue. no idea. Is oh. he sitting in a locker? Yeah. He's sitting in a locker. Offense, <sighs> I will say. Dante? No. Mm. A lot of people had locker picks, though. I know Chris? No. I don't know. Andre. Andre. Mm. Just simple caption tough. tough. Which is another thing I noticed this year is a lot of you guys have done simple captions or no caption. It's the way. It's the way, apparently. It's the way. <laughs> okay. Compete with self like you the only man alive. Offense or defense? Defense. Defense. What's the picture? Um, it's actually not from this week. It's okay. from Florida week. And he's holding a gator. Jermaine? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I was about to say. Yeah. 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 Which he had yeah. a yeah. phenomenal interception in the end zone, which mm. that drive, to be honest, I was looking at it like, 
wow, they're about to score. <laughs> like, how was that energy on that interception, which I thought yeah, was a game changer. Yeah. That's a crazy play. It's just the energy. Yeah, like, I mean, it's a crazy to get a turnover in the red zone too is just yeah, like, like yeah, yeah, was, save a touchdown, yeah. everything. Mm -hmm. It's just a good play. Mm. He deserves that caption and the interception. Okay, last couple. Only thing I ask for is res is respect. I really <laughs> earned that. Did you say it one more time? Hold on. <laughs> Only thing I ask for it was re is respect. I really earned that. Is it a defensive or offensive? Offense. Offense. What position? Wide receiver. It's another locker cigar pick. Okay. <laughs> mm. Chris. Mm -mm. Dante. Yeah. Okay. Uh -oh. Well, you had two guesses. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Last one. I kind of made it a little bit trickier, but I loved the picture. It's actually not of the player. It's of the little kid that's been dancing. Have you guys uh, seen him yeah, on the Jumbotron? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he has yeah. been keeping Vol fans alive. Indeed. But he just said, gotta love it. Oh, I feel like I, I just saw this one. <laughs> oh, um, my goodness. And it's not a picture of him. It's a picture of the kid. I don't know. Is it defense? Offense. I, mean, I don't it's know. It's a trick <laughs> question because it's Andre again. Oh. <laughs> but you gotta love it. Okay. Honestly, wherever this kid is num that wears the number six jersey, yeah. <laughs> if he wants to come on a show and sit and chat with some of the guys, he did have something to say about the game a couple weeks ago. Yeah. And Cordy said we didn't play that well. So if he yeah. wants to come on, mm. we'll, we'll chat with him. Yeah, we can chat for sure. <laughs> <laughs> but Will, I'm so glad you're able to come on. I'm so happy we were able to talk to you about your journey and your career. And I'm especially happy that you never thought about leaving Tennessee because it's so special. So to both of you guys, mm -hmm. enjoy the bye week. I'm so mm -hmm. excited for Kentucky weekend Indeed. and just yeah. another rivalry. And just keep doing your thing on defense. Indeed. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Will. Yeah, thank thanks you, for having man. me. Yeah. Indeed. Well, thank you guys <laughs> for tuning in to another episode on the O'Reilly Show. Like we mentioned before, drop some comments. We'll be going through them and seeing who you guys want to see on the show, whether it be Will or someone else. Um, subscribe to the Players Lounge to co continuously get content from athletes like us. Yes. Appreciate you guys. <laughs>